Biangui Kakuru is suffering from MPOX. He's one of around 27,000 people in the Democratic Republic of Congo who've been diagnosed with the virus since the beginning of last year. May the researchers do their best, let them work hard to find a cure, and let God help them too. It is with God's help that they will succeed in finding a cure for this disease. Mpox is an infectious disease from the same family of viruses as smallpox. The outbreak has killed more than 1,100 people in the DRC since early 2023, most of them children. My daughter had a high fever and then she started to get lesions on her body. She had rashes on her arms, on her abdomen and even on her tongue. I was told Mpox is a serious illness that could kill her, so I brought her to this treatment center. The Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say Mpox has been detected in 10 African countries this year. Cases are up by 160% on last year and deaths have increased by nearly 20%. We worry that some investigations aren't being carried out properly and there is no follow-up of contacts of confirmed cases. We hope we'll be able to organise this better, especially in camps for displaced people. This is how we hope to break the chain of transmission. The World Health Organisation has released $1 million from its emergency fund to support the response to Mpox. It's also called an emergency meeting to discuss the potential for the disease to spread further, both on the continent and globally. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera. Shalom. Let's give all praise to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our teachers, the elders and apostles, the great millstone who taught us His truth. In truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful that's gathered abroad. Shallow 1 to 144,000. Real quick, I want to touch on this article that you see right here on the screen. It says WHO orders governments to prepare for mega lockdowns, quote unquote, due to deadly impox strain. Okay? So they're saying they want the governments around the world to prepare for a mega lockdown. And we know what the lockdowns look like. You know, you was, you know, told you had to stay in your house. A lot of people, you know, was working from home. Um, but this is going to be a mega lockdown. So this is going to be worse than that. This is going to be a whole other level of lockdowns. All right. And, and the Lord warned us of this time that we're coming into. Or this devil's going to come down with draconian laws. You know, um, Scripture says that, uh, grab that real quick. Matter of fact. <laughs> all right. Because this man knows that he has but a short time. All right. So he's about to come down with great wrath. All right. He's about to come down with great wrath. And this particular lockdown is going to be worse than the past than what we've seen in the past. All right. You remember in Australia, you had people that was getting, uh, you know, uh, confined to their apartment building. All right. And they had troops sitting outside the doors and saying, you you, you will get shot if you left. They was doing this over in, in Australia. All right. So what's all that happened. But what's coming is going to be worse. Let's go right here. This says Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which means destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And they have plans, they have agendas, agenda twenty twenty five, agenda twenty thirty. You know, they got particular plans that they want to um see put in place and in motion. So they're about to speed up, you know, this process, and that's why they're having these mega lockdowns from this um so called impox, right? It says uh Trudeau however you say his name, warns Canadians to prepare for new virus war far worse than CVID, all right? So they're saying it's going to be a new one far worse than CVID. And they told us this whenever the CVID was going on, that it's going to be something that the next one was going to get your attention, all right? So in this one, you might actually see people bumped up and lumped up, you know, and dropping dead all around you, all right? I saw a video the other, the other day of a, of, of a Mo. He was on, uh, you know, the internet showing his uh you know bumps and whelps and stuff so this one might be something you could actually see and we know to see it that was something that you know okay it was a uh, you know it was you know uh determined by a a test this one people gonna be actually you know lumping up and stuff and this may be, be the one but we believe there's gonna be uh many more that's gonna all accumulate into this big you know uh and you know all a lot of this is a bunch of fear-mongering too they want to put fear in you because they control you with fear 
let's go right here it says problem reaction solution the paradigm works it says the mass media government creates and or presents a problem attributing blame to others which they're going to attribute this blame to you so-called negroes hispanics native indians thus to further bring in jacob's trouble okay whatever where, where you are going to be persecuted it says the populace uh, two, the populace reacts by begging the government for help or protection against the alleged problem. So remember, the government created this problem. Okay. Verse three, the government represents a uh, like it presents a solution, quote unquote, that was planned well before the alleged problem spawned. Result: rights and libertarians are exchanged for illusion of protection and help, and that's what they what they do. Okay, and when this comes to pass, you you you're not supposed to go down to these devils for help because their 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 solution is going to be that MOTB, and a lot of people are going to take it. Now these next pictures, I'm going to show them real quick, and I'm not giving any health um advice, you know, fair use, fair use, and I'm not going to even going to read them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you see them, and you can read them off the screen for yourself. All right, but you see this right here. Okay, they use the same picture. One is for the you know, a newer one for for, for, for the, the, the M-P-O-C, it's like it, or M-P-O-K, it's like yeah, M-P-O-X, it's early. And another one, another one is for shingles, but it's the same picture, all right? Right here it says, um, yep, you see it, okay? I'm not even going to say it, but it's the same stuff, okay? So we see what's going on in this, you know, uh, you know, mad town of a world that we're living in, in this, in this clown world. And the scriptures talk about it. So let's grab a few scriptures. I ain't gonna make this too long. Just a quick update. This is uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 7. It says, And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? It says, And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed. And the time draweth near, go, not, go ye not after them. Right, you're gonna lie. You got a lot of false teachers and prophets out here, okay, telling you a bunch of lies and telling you what you want to hear. It says, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, which you're hearing of that, be not terrified, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. It says, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, which earthquakes are all over the place right now. You got a uh, 7.0 is going off, you know, in Japan and here and there. It says, um, in famines, which is a lack of food or lack of, uh, you know, um, bread and water and, you know, things that you need to, to, to sustain yourself. It says, and pestilence says, that's plural. That's not just one, that's plural. Scriptures talk about there's going to be diseases that's not even mentioned in, in, in the scriptures come, coming about, man. Okay, and this is what we're seeing. It says, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. All right, and they're saying it's a new strain. So they're they're mutating this shit in a lab somewhere, okay, and putting it out to you as, oh, it's a new, no, man. Okay, well, Scripture says we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know this man's plans. We know how he get down. It says, um, verse 12, but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake and is there there's articles going out about how they're saying how people are getting locked up for what for what they say on social media okay you're getting locked up so we, well, what do we do we report against this stuff and bring this stuff out and it may come to a point where, 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 we, where, where we might find ourselves locked up okay this is what a mega lockdown looks like you ain't gonna be no just oh yeah, you gotta stay in your house no no they're going to relocate you to a, a fema camp or something somewhere man you know, a concentration camp, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, a re-education center, okay, whatever you want to call it. That, that's what a lot of people are going to be. And they're going to come for the men of the Lord. They're going to use this as, as a tactic to come for the men of the Lord. We've seen that too. Them saying, oh, yo, um, how they got to come, come against the, 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 you know, the, 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 the naysayers, or the people that are speaking against their agenda. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Okay, let's go into this word prison real quick. In the blue letter. All right. Let's see what this word prison is talking about. So the devil shall cast some of us into prison. It says, guard, watch. You're going to be somewhere locked up where they're going to have guards watching over you. A watching, keeping watch to keep watch. 
person is keeping watch at guard sentinels. So you're gonna have, you know, and and, and they're gonna have these. They're gonna be using these drones, you know. Uh, the place where captives are kept, a prison, and we're gonna be captives. So you, so you could be in prison in your own home, or you can be in prison in 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 a, in a, a, a building somewhere, right? It says, um. Of, of the time of night during which guard was kept a watch i.e. a period of time during which a part of the guard was on duty and at the end of the, of which others relieved them as the uh, earlier Greeks divided the night commonly into three parts so previous to the exile the Israelites also had three watches in the night subsequently However, after they became subject to the Romans, they adopted the Roman custom of dividing the night into four watches. So yeah, we, pretty much we 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 gonna be under watch. We gonna we gonna be you know, they, they, this is what they're preparing for. They got all they got over uh, which this was years ago. They were saying they had over 800 FEMA camps in in America. Uh, it's probably 8,000 now. Okay, so they got more than enough room to to house your people. Your average Walmart is gonna get turned into a, in, into a, a, a camp and imprisonment. They said, and that's why they have no windows. You go into Walmart, there ain't no windows in the Walmart. It says, a guarding or con concretely guard the act, the person, figuratively the place, the condition, or spe or especially the time as a division of day or night, literally or figuratively cage. We're going to have you encaged. A hold, imprisonment, ward, watch. You see? So we see what this is leading up to. Bringing it back, it says, fear, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So some of us are going to be put into FEMA camps, you know, uh, locked up. It says, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days, which is just a period of time where the world's going to try. Because we're going to be tried. Before we get any, you know, uh, uh, relief from Yahweh, he first has to prove us. We're going to be tried. It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So even if you have to die for this, hey, be faithful unto death, you know. So, and a lot of people, they're, they're going to fold, they're going to give in, they're going to roll over, and they're going to take it. It says in the NLT, don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. So we are about to suffer these things, man. Okay? The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. You will suffer for 10 days. But if you remain faithful, even when facing death, I will give you a crown of life. You see? So you remain faithful even when facing death. And we're definitely going to be facing death, man. Okay? Let me grab this right here. Because the Lord is about to, uh, you know, really, really, really turn things up. It says, um, 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. You see, these plagues are drawing nigh. Okay, they're not going to slow down. It's going to speed up. Verse 39. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. You're going you're gonna to be catching hell on every side. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be no food, no water, no 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 shelter, no nothing. It says, "Oh my people, you children of Israel, of the elect, you know, first and foremost, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle." This is gonna be a battle. This ain't gonna be no walk in the park. Scripture says, "Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven." And these devils are about to come with all hell. It says, "And in those evils, bad times, be even as pilgrims upon the earth." You see, so it goes into it. You know, he that selleth. Be let him be as one that flit away. We ain't gonna have to hold. We ain't gonna be able to hold on to nothing. You know, even your own home. You might have to flee out of your own home. You know, and run. You know, when these devils come down, and uh, you know, leave the comfort of your home. You know, you might be in the wilderness somewhere, hiding out. Okay, watch that movie. Um, um, watch that movie. Uh, Dick Dam Demolition Man. Okay, Demolition Man, where they had the people who didn't get down with that program. They were living in the sewers eating rat burgers. Now, we ain't eating no damn rat burgers, but we might be living in the sewers for a little bit, man. Okay? And if you ain't ready for that, which a lot of people aren't, they're going to just bow down and take it. They're going to they're gonna comply. Stripper says, they that comply that should be ha had in derision. They that consent unto them should be had in derision. You're going to be catching hell. You take that karagma, man. So, hey, we coming into this time where they're going to say, oh, yeah, this new, this new mega lockdowns. We need everybody to be tagged so we can determine who you are, not only your identity, but... Uh, do you have it? You know, are you sick? They remember this movie, uh, Songbird. <laughs> so, yeah, we in this time, man.
ولا بس المستشار وانكم شو الله ضبوا بس في أربعة نوفمبر إن شاء الله.